The airport design is hugely important to any destination, especially here in the Red Sea. Unlike typical airports, which are quite cavernous, we've created a very unique design that really makes for a personalized experience. So the Red Sea came to us and they asked us really to, to do something that was very unusual, very different. So they wanted the airport to be the future of what airports could be, an attempt to try and bring back a sense of luxury into that arrival and, and departure experience. The brief was to create something that no one's ever seen before, something which really stands out and defines the Red Sea experience architecturally. Our vision for the airport design was that it would be informed by nature. We come up with a number of different collaborative ideas, and the one I think that everyone felt was actually the most beautiful in its form and shape was very evocative of sand dunes in its curvilinear form. So in terms of sustainability, and there's lots of innovative uh, strategies that we developed. So this here shows the solar path. So in summer, the sun uh, starts the day here and it ends the day here. And then in winter, it starts here and ends here. The whole airport is actually self-shading. Each terminal pod is, is broken down individually. So in low season, one of those could operate as a single um, pod. Um, or two could work together, and in high season the whole airport can work. And that's actually very good for sustainability. Those roofs are basically a four-legged dome with uh, a very large cantilever on the air side. The nose of the aircraft, we actually wanted it to sit in underneath the roof of the terminal building. And part of the reason the building is curved is so we've got a number of aircraft that can come in and sit around the edges of the, the building. So the dunescape inspired natural design has allowed us to create a unique experience on arrival. We're using smart technology to create this really, really luxury experience, breaking it down to one minute. So one minute arriving process, uh, one minute departing process. So you can get people to feel like they're flowing through the space rather than being processed. So we took away the air bridge. We felt it was a better approach to bring people off the aircraft and down the steps so they actually smell the air. They get a sense of the temperature. And then we go down into an arrivals garden which is inspired by uh, the Saudi Arabia uh, Wadi experience. And then the passenger flows through a, a short uh, customs immigration. And then arrive at a welcome centre and be escorted then onto their destination. So on departure, the important thing is the moment they arrive at the, at the airport, they can see directly through to the aircraft. There's a direct visual corridor throughout from the drop-off point all the way through right to the plane. It's all about making sure they, they're almost still at the resort when they're at the airport and they're not until they get on that aircraft that they leave the resort. It's such an untouched, beautiful landscape, that opportunity to come in and very sensitively work with nature and create something very beautiful, very unusual, I think is, a, is a, a, an amazing experience, amazing opportunity. We can demonstrate to the rest of the world that you don't have to destroy in order to develop.